Now, let me do this limit by two methods. And at this time, uh, is something different. Uh, because these two methods uh, leads uh, to different answers. Obviously, uh, one of them um, is not correct. And uh, we try to find what's wrong and uh, why so we can have a, a great deal to learn from. So this is a very good example. <coughs> okay, method of one. Uh, method of one. Uh, I, I write this limit as uh, the limit x approaches to infinity and uh, e to the x 1 plus 1 of x to the power of x and uh, then to x. Okay, this is uh, obvious. Then by by the definition of e, this is e, right? This is e. This is approaching zero. This is infinity. So this becomes uh, uh, the limit x approaches the infinity of e x over e x is equal to one. So that is a method of one. Okay. Uh, we will come back to discuss the result. Now, method two. Okay, method two. <clears throat> uh, let me do this way. Okay, method two. I write this limit as uh, the limit x approaches to infinity. And uh, Uh, e to 1 plus 1 of x and uh, to the x all together to x. I have to write very carefully because uh, this is this is a very very sensitive. Uh, uh, okay, now I think that this is correct, right? Then I call this limit is L. Then obviously that uh, this this log L is equal to the limit x approaches to infinity x uh, to the log of this whole thing, right? This is log e minus x to log 1 plus 1 over x. Yeah. I hope you can follow that. I'll take a log on this side, right? So this is x times this log. This log is log e minus log of that. That is x times log of this. Yeah, so then I, I use substitution that let x be 1 over t. So this would be the limit. Now, when x approaches to infinity, t approaches to zero. So this is 1 over t bracket. This will be 1, right? 1 minus 1 over t log 1 plus t. Yeah. Then for this, I'm using Maclaurin series expansion. Now, if you forget Maclaurin expansion, uh, okay, I, <laughs> this is my way to, 
to remind me you, uh, what is the expansion of this for the Maclaurin. Now we know that one over one over t is equal to well you simply divide do division right this is um, one minus t plus t square minus t cube plus t fourth and so on right you don't need you don't need a Maclaurin then yeah then you integrate this one. We integrate this one, this is log uh, 1 plus t, right? If I integrate this side, then integrate that side, it would be t minus t over square over 2 plus t cube over 3 minus t fourth over 4 plus t5 over 5, and so on. That is my, that is a series. Maclaurin series expansion for the log of 1 plus t. So we can have this one easily, no? Even if we forget the formula. So this one is equal to the limit uh, at t goes to 0, 1 over t. This is 1 minus 1 over t multiply that expansion, right? That tension is t minus uh, t squared over 2 plus t cubed over 3 minus t fourth over 4 plus and so on. Well, we don't have to do too many because we all know that as t goes to 0, the, they are all zeros. Now this one is equal to uh, t uh, the limit, sorry, t approaches to zero, and uh, this is one over t. This is one, right? One one cancel out, so it becomes uh, half t minus three t square. Plus fourth t cube and so on. Yeah. Then after divided by t, so you get the limit t goes to zero. Uh, one half minus t over three plus t square over four minus t cube over 5, and so on. So they are all zeros, as 0 approaches zero, 0. So the result is 1 half. Therefore, my limit L is equal e to the half, which is equal to square root of e. That is the, the result from method 2, and which is different from method 1. Now, which one is uh, wrong? And uh, what's wrong? And, and why? These are very good questions with, from which we can learn from. <clears throat> Obviously, this method is nothing is wrong. This method, something is wrong because this is not exactly e to the x, but rather it is approaching to e to the x. Okay, now let me let me do this way. Okay, now the our limit, and actually our limit is a limit x approaches infinity. E e. Mm. This is a one, one plus one of x to the x, all together to x. This is approaching to e. It is correct. Nothing wrong with this. This is approaching to e. Therefore, this is approaching to. This one is approaching to one to infinity. That type of. 
This is approach to one. This is approach to the infinity. So this is an indeterminate form of a limit. You cannot use E. We cannot use E. That is result is one, right? But this is not one. This is approach to one. So that's the mistake. This is the mistake. This is the mistake. So I... Uh, I suggest that if you're a math teacher, uh, I recommend this question to, uh, for you to discuss in a class. Or if you're a student, math student, you can recommend it to your teacher. This is a very good question to discuss in a class because we cannot use this one as an E, as a 1, uh, as E, because this is approach to 1. So this end up with an indeterminate form of a limit. So that result is not correct. This is correct. Now, suppose we have another question. This is, a, this is 2 to x. And this is the same thing as 1 plus 1 of x to the x squared. Then this is different. This time we can use a... This is x to the infinity. This is a 2. This is a 1 plus 1 of x to the x, then to the x. This time is okay. I can use a, I can use this one as a, the, the limit x goes to infinity. This is 2. This is e to the power of x. Because this time I'm sure that this is, this is approach to e, which is, which makes the rational, uh, the fraction less than one. So this one is approach to zero because uh, this is infinity, right? This time I can use for e, but not this, not that time because this is uh, the approach to one. See so that makes uh, indeterminate a limit. Okay, thank you very much for for watching this very good example.